it's in the screen. Okay, so um, we're gonna scan the lateral hip, of course, uh, but we first have to realize uh, something about the angulation of the tendons. So we have the different tendons uh, coming along on the uh, tracheal trochanter here. First one is the gluteus minimus. The gluteus minimus comes a bit from, this is the insertion side, and it comes a bit, if this is the midline, this is the midline of the leg, as you can see, but the minimus attaches a bit in this direction. So from the midline, from here to there, that would be around 10 degrees, okay? So this is the midline, that's 10 degrees. The tendon will insert like this. That's important for later, putting your probe on, of course, in the long axis view. So that's the first thing. Then we're gonna start scanning and we're gonna use a very important landmark. In this case, let me change the image. I have to angle the machine a little bit so I can see it. Yes. Okay. So easiest is to start here on the femur, uh, on the lateral thigh. There you have the image of the fastus lateralis and intermedius, and then beneath it you have the uh, the bone of the femur. And then we go proximal, proximal, proximal. What we will see is that the bone will come more and more superficial till about here. Then what you're gonna look for is this bony eminence right there in the middle. It looks like a bit like a pointy mountain. In this case, it's very pointy, but with some people it's a bit more flattened, but everybody has this point. If I go a bit further up, it disappears. See, now I'm over it. So you scan up to down until you see this pointy uh, piece of bone right there. And then that's your marking because uh, from this point, if you go uh, uh, ventral, here, this flat line right there of the bone, this here is the uh, surface of the anterior facet. Now, if we go more lateral, this is also a flat surface of the bone. That's the lateral facet. So what we're gonna focus on first is the gluteus minimus. I just explained you uh, how it attaches. And as you can see, if this is already the minimus tendon covering the whole facet, but if you want to scan it uh, better, you have to make it as horizontal as possible. So I'm gonna make an angulation with my probe to get it like this. So I start from this position, then I'm gonna uh, uh, rock the probe a bit in this position, a bit further, further, further. And then we get a very nice flat surface of the bone and everything covering the bone above it, that's all the tendon. Can be a bit of, and it's atrophy inside, depending on the angle you scan it on. But this is the image you are looking for. So this is short axis. Now, if I want to go into the long axis view of this tendon, if you look at the probe, remember it comes from here, not in the midline, it's a bit anterior. So if I want to scan it in a straight line, I'm gonna put it in this direction. And then on the image, let me put it the other way around. So left is proximal. That's the official rule that we have. Uh, so now we see a very nice view of the, this is the tendon. See here it's a bit dark because it's, it's angled like this. It's a bit of anisotropy, it comes over and then it attaches from here to there. And in, with him we can even see the bundles inside the tendon. Now that depends a bit on the type of machine you're using. This is a more high-end machine and of course the model itself and he's quite echogenic, so in his case we can actually see the bundles. So here you check for any tears, possible tendinopathies, and even if you like, you can follow it up a little bit more proximally, but if you have any pathologies, you're gonna find them right in this area.